Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen at St. Paul's, and I'm in front of the splash door. We're going to talk about splash today, and I have Marlene Dady with me. It is Friday, July 17. This is Corn Vlog 86 at the splash door of St. Paul's United Church of Christ. Our scripture today comes from Jesus speaking in Mark 10, verses 13 to 14. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Marlene? Good morning. I'm going to share uh, some history of SPLASH with you today that you might not know. Do you know what SPLASH stands for? It stands for St. Paul's Links All School Hours. Our mission statement is to build a positive and affirming relationship with the youth of our community by providing a safe environment for study, recreation, and fellowship. Let's go back in time. Prior to the construction of this building, the Family Life and Mission Center, the Daniel Boone Middle School was under construction and almost finished. Pastor Pat, Pastor Sharon, the Daniel Boone Superintendent Dave Robbins at the time and I met in the parking lot, actually where the FLMC stands, to discuss a way to connect the school with the church. After the Family Life and Ministry Mission Center was finished in September of 2006. For a short time, we partnered with the Daniel Boone School District through a Wellness Foundation grant to start an after-school program. It was a lot different than the program we have now. Fast forward to the summer of 2010, exactly 10 years ago. Seems like a long time ago, but in some ways not. The Splash Board and I were frantically working to get approvals and inspections in place to open an after-school program for middle school children in September. We did accomplish that goal in the nick of time. We started with only four students and it was only after school. In 2011-2012 school year, we had 10 students. In 2014-2015 school year, we added mornings. In the 15-16 school year, the Y program that was run in the school closed suddenly a few days before the first day of school, and we had an influx of inquiries and students with a total of 44 children that year. In June of 2016, we began our summer program for full days. Originally, our staff included only church volunteers. We didn't have any paid staff. In 2013, we hired our first staff person, then we increased to two and three, and we now have four staff members and one substitute. What do we do? During the school year, the children have some talk time, snack, gym time, homework time, and free time. During the summer, we have themed weeks. This week is Lego week. Next week is Disney week. They do lots of coordinated activities with their teams. They have a weekly visit to the Maple Springs Pool, a weekly field trip. This week was our first field trip to the Reading Public Museum. They spend time outside, which right now I think they're over on the playground. And on Mondays, they have a little cooking program. They do crafts and all kinds of things to keep them busy. We are licensed and inspected annually by the Office of Child Development and Early Learning, and we follow all guidelines of a regular daycare facility. Our goal is to provide a safe and fun environment for the children of the community. Thank you. Well, that was great, Marlene. And uh, let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for the vision that goes way back for making this a safe and healthy place for children uh, um, when they're not at school and we thank you for all the staff and we pray that you keep them protected during this time and we thank you for all the kids a lot of new ones just this summer we pray that you direct us in coming days as we negotiate how to work this out if and when school resumes we put everything in your hand trusting in you knowing that it's a good work to be involved with young people and blessing their lives pray in Jesus name. Amen. So you know I like to finish with a song every time 
And so I was thinking of a, a song that I learned as a nursery rhyme growing up. It went like this. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Well, I researched it. Um, knick-knack paddywhack, that meant to give a beating to an Irish person. Did you know that? Isn't that horrible? So I remember at some point I was, uh, I heard someone do that tune, but they had new words and they said it was from Barney. Who's Barney? Apparently he was a purple dinosaur. Is he still around? Does he still do stuff? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, he would sing a song that says, I love you, you love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Well, that's very lovely, but we can't hug and kiss quite so much. So I thought we needed to have a, an updated song for Splash. So here's what I just wrote this morning. Here at Splash, glad you asked. All the workers must wear masks and we'll check your temperature with a little gun. Then come in and have some fun. <laughs> good. Very good. So God bless you and we'll see you in worship on Sunday and then we'll see you uh, Monday with the next vlog. God bless you.